crazy thing about that is last night at the Kaboom Town thing, I almost took a picture of it. I didn't get a chance to. Someone walked up to me, but uh, the Jason Hart stickers on the cars. Say Jason, didn't he run? All okay. right. It's amazing to me, I always said the funny thing about racing is the more you learn, the more you realize there is to it. You know, I would say it's funny, biggest thing, you know, like this car, uh, Will gets mad and uh, Kevin get upset with me when I bring this one out, but the thing about it is, is it's so well balanced, and the biggest thing is, what they don't get is, you know, I set up the car free, the only thing I ever tra change on the car, oh, Mr. Gear, is the, uh, roughly is the speedometer for each track, because you don't need a 200 mile an hour car on this track. Oh, he called me off. Um, but that's it, really. And the other thing is, I find my braking zones I'm on my test laps. I figure out where I need a brake at, and then I break the same spot every time. So you're set up, you know, 
You use the visual aid and you're accurate. Yeah. That's the hardest thing too, is being, you know, what I see happening with drones is when you're out on track practicing, you know, if you had that track to yourself for a day and you had a drone follow your car and then you could do an aerial view of where you're off, where you're entering too soon, where you're coming out too soon of the apex, you, just that little bit of information of watching yourself drive, you would make your lap time so much quicker, you know? Not only that, I mean, everything that goes along with that, you would save fuel, you would save uh, tires, you know? But it would be, I'm surprised, I mean, I don't know if anyone's doing it now, but if you could just follow it and then see, go back a lap and find that perfect line through there in that car, because let's be honest, you could have a fastest line, but every car is going to be a little bit different. No way, my tires are still, I've got mediums on the front and softs on the rear. I was like, why is it understeering? So that tree at the top, you know the tree you always aim for? It's it's gone now. It got knocked up. Huh? Yeah, someone told me it got hit by lightning or something. Yep. second penalty.
God damn it, I was hoping you would stay out. Alright, so I have to swap them. Oh, uh, you can't. It sucks, I've done that too. Oh, did it really? Cause I've done that before and then just given up and be like, screw it. I guess you can't get back into it. 